So let us start question number five. So yeah. Question number five talks about first part I'm doing. Cosec theta minus cot theta whole square is equals to one minus cos theta upon one plus cos theta. So in these kind of questions, I told you in the last class also, some of the steps which I personally follow. First step is if there is any bracket, solve them first. For example, right now there is a square on the top. So I will remove the square. That means I will be applying the identity. A plus B whole square. That's my first step to follow. Second step to follow is to convert in sine or cos. That's my second step. After that, if nothing is possible, if something is in fraction, if in fraction, go for rationalization. Okay. Ninth grade rationalization we have learned. So that thing we should do. Step number four, if nothing is possible still, and we are not able to match, solve the right hand side. So first of all, start solving LHS. And if nothing is possible after that also, start solving right hand side. So we'll follow these four steps in all the questions, whatever the questions of question number five is. So first of all, let's start solving LHS, left-hand side. So as, as I told you, there is a power two. So what we are going to do, we are going to use identity A plus B whole square. A minus. So A minus B whole square. So A square minus B square. Uh, A so square A plus square plus B square minus two AB. Cos sec theta into cot theta. So I'm not going to write the right hand side part. I'm just going to solve left hand side. Now, second step was convert into sine and cos. I'll convert everything into sine and cos because I like to do that. So whenever we are converting sine and cos, first step should be the fraction formula which we have learned. If you remember. Uh, one by sin. Yes. So remember this fraction mm. formulas. Sine is one upon cosec. Yes. And cosec is one by sin. So we'll go back and start solving this. Cosec is one upon sine square theta. Square is there. And cot sine and cos is uh, sine and sine square. Cos square theta upon sine square theta. Yes. Okay. Minus 2 multiply by 1 upon sine theta multiply by cos theta upon sine theta. Okay. Is there anything cancelling something like that? No. So we'll just simplify this part. So one upon sine square theta plus cos square theta upon sine square theta minus two cos theta upon sine square theta. So now if you look at the denominator, it's already sine square theta everywhere. So we'll take LCM as sine square theta. So one plus cos square theta minus two cos theta. Now, if you observe the numerator, it's beautifully written. A square. You must be thinking there is no square. But if I put a square on the top, it will not affect anything. 
you will see that yes. one square is already one. Hmm. So this is a square. This is b square minus two a b. B is, b is one. one. Hmm. Or a is one, you can say. Understood. Hmm. So this identity is very, very important. So numerator, what I will be getting? One minus cos theta whole square. Now, somebody can also write cos theta minus 1 whole square. Both are correct. Both are correct. Because I can take this thing over here and this thing over here. Shift. Okay. Now, which one I should take? Now, look at the right hand side. I need 1 minus cos. I need 1 minus cos. So, this one I should take. take. I hope this logic is hmm. clear. Now, moving on. Denominator. Sin square theta. As soon as you see square and there is nothing else possible. So, always look at square identities. So, if you remember square identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta, plus cos square theta equals to 1. Hmm. And in my question, it is sin square theta. So I will shift rest of the thing to the other side. Okay, so one minus cos. So sine square theta is what? One oh, minus cos square theta. Cos square theta. So in the denominator, I will write one minus cos square theta. Hmm. Is that thing clear? Yes. Now again, as I told you, one also have a square, one square. So, identity is A plus B, A, A minus, minus B. B. 1 minus cos theta whole square upon 1 plus cos theta, 1 minus cos theta. Give me a second. Now, if you see this part and this part is exactly same, so this will get cancelled. So this two get cancelled with this whole thing. So what do we get? We get one plus cos one minus cos theta yes. on the numerator, one plus cos theta in the denominator, and that is what was asked equals to RHS hence root. So this is it. So important thing is that you understand the process, how to think. Open the bracket, convert into sine cos and do the steps. Use identities and whatever it is required. Okay.